Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, manufacturing facility of Merrick Machine Company located here in Allen, Nebraska. Today what we have for you, we've got one of our Merrick original products. This is the auto rotisserie. We've actually got this jacked up. You can see in some of our other videos how the process goes to jack it up. Uh, ideally, gentlemen, you've got about uh, 44 inches of a working height up to about 59. So you're going to jack this up. You can actually take a uh, subframe car like this, a unibody car, slide this in underneath and go ahead and lift it all the way up. Then you're going to stick some uh, jacks or barrels under here or uh, stub boards, put them on both ends and then go ahead and adjust it up further. Once you're in this spot, you can actually fine tune it from this point. You're going to do most of your adjustment through this jack here, uh, 3,000 pound capacity. You've got one jack on this side and one on the right hand side of the screen just out of the view. So you're going to jack both sides up, get it as high as you can, put your, uh, your, your barrels or your other jacks underneath this to hold it, and then go ahead and dial in your, your center. The center is the center of gravity, so you've got about 10 to 30 inches right there that you can adjust that up and down so you can get the car balanced. Balanced means uh, I can spin it real easy. Guys, what I'm talking about, uh, as American Original product, we've looked at these in the past. The ones that are currently out on the market, you have a, a piece of pipe and another pipe inside of it. The downside there is you've got steel on steel, you've got to grease the hell out of it. We've got industrial bearings here. These are pillow block bearings. There's two on this side and there's two on the right hand side that you're not seeing in the camera. You're going to have two grease circs, one on each of the pillow block bearings. Hopefully you get a good shot of those. And you're running on one main shaft that's hooking all this baby together. That's your center line and that's what allows this thing to spin easy. I'm going to actually push this way just a little bit more so you can see this hopefully. We can pan in here. We've got a uh, a plate with a circular pattern in here. I'm kind of running my finger back and forth, but there's actually uh, 12 holes throughout here, and it's every 30 degrees we've got another hole. So what do we need that for? What, what do you, the customer, care if there's 30 degree hole patterns here? Well, we've got an indexing pin system that I can pull out. I can lock in the next, the next pin system right there. I'm going to get this out of my way. It's not necessary at this point somewhat balanced but not perfectly balanced but it allowed me to do the job so I've already moved this car 30 degrees so if I want to work on the top of the fender and I, the lighting in the shop is usually pretty poor but what you're trying to do is operators are all different heights guys are going to be six foot tall down to five and a half feet to even taller so you want to move the working height so it's easy great on their backs okay so there's there's your first one now let's go ahead and let's go a little bit more I'm going to lock that in. We've got a locking in pin system that goes in these 12 holes, which I'll explain here in a minute. So once again, if you're trying to work on the top of the car, you're going to do some sanding, uh, whether it's either the top of the car or the bottom of the car, you can do all that nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it in one more time. That's a spring-loaded lock-in uh, system, which I'll eventually move all this so you guys can see that when we get you a close-up shot. So here's a fine example of what's going on. Now, that pin system goes all the way around. So I can take the car this way or I can turn it 180 degrees so we're working on the bottom of the car. If the lighting's all on one side of the building, this works out really well. I'm going to go ahead and disengage my pin system, run it back around, and I'm going to lock it back in. Now I can go work on the bottom of the car, take the rear end out, take the front suspension, uh, the crappy exhaust that's on there, for example. As we go through this car, real quickly, I'm going I'm to jump around just a little bit. I wanted to talk about, this actually moves pretty easy, guys. And the reason for that is we've got six inch casters on here. We've actually got four on this end and four on the right hand side of the camera on the opposite end for the tail of the car, tail away from me. And you can actually see uh, they're actually, they're all swivels and they got bearings on each one. So it allows you to move the car in any direction, push it through the shop, get it into the paint booth and so forth. Okay, once again, we've got the pillow block bearings. This is, this is not a gimmick, guys. That's what these pillow block bearings actually do for you. I'm just a one-man band, and I'm doing this all on my own. Another neat feature that we have here, gentlemen, uh, this is a Camaro. Some of the parts falling in this are the, the greatest that General Motors have ever made. I'm just kidding, I like General Motors products. Anyway, in a nutshell, uh, as you go through here, we can actually ex extend this out to about 
216 inches. So that's about 18 feet. We can actually go beyond that. You need to talk to your dealers or go to our website. Tell us at the time of order how far you'd like this to extend out. We can sell you more center sections to lock in both pieces. There's a handle that comes with uh, the dolly system. So you can actually spin this. If you get it centered or, or fairly close to centered, one guy can do this just like I did uh, with my bare hands. It's not that hard. Generally, the ones that are currently out on the market, you got a guy with a big cheater bar on this end and another guy grabbing and hold of the body using all the weight that he possibly can with his legs trying to push him. That's not the case. You don't have steel on steel. You got the pillow block bearings helping you out, gentlemen. This is really a, the key to the whole situation. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spin this a little bit more and try and show you the locking pin system the best I can. We're going to try and let me pull this up just a little bit. All right, on the back end of the car, the 12 point system we talked about, you're moving every 30 degrees, okay, for the 12 different holes. This is actually a spring loaded system. So there's a paw pin right here. We're actually gauging uh, spring pressure on it. So if I want to go ahead and pull this, the spring wants to automatically go ahead and, and engage it back into a hole. So if it starts to spin or flip, it's automatically, let's, I'll try and push it one way, a little bit more. With the spring power, it automatically wants to lock itself in. Neat little feature. Now, you have the same pin system on this side of the car as well as you have on the opposite side of the car, the left-hand side of the screen that you're not seeing now. I can actually come in here and I can disengage the, the pin system and I can manually push this all by myself and lock it in. Once it's locked into to the position I want, I can go ahead and load that. In case by chance this wanted to pop out, uh, put the paw pin right in place and it's always spring loaded. Now I go to the opposite end of the car and I push the spring pin paw into place, lock it in that series of holes, and away we go. Then the whole thing's rock solid. It's not going anywhere, okay guys? Anyway, that's the pin system. Really unique. Something we came up with just through uh, trial and error. Uh, different rotisseries that we tried over the years we got fed up with and we came up with some great suggestions. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set this down. I'm going to push this baby back here just a little bit. This is the auto rotisserie. You can actually go online to the auto rotisserie. It's a website that we have and you can look this up. It's one of the uh, Merrick original products that we have available to you. You can buy this with jacks. Once again, it's a 3,000 pound capacity. Or you can buy it without jacks. We highly recommend that you purchase the jacks. Okay, the auto rotisserie. This is America original product. If you have any questions, look us up online or you can call the factory at 1-800-568-7423. Once again, my name is Russ Merrick and I'd like to thank you for your time.